In this video we are going to do a brief summary of Newton's three laws of motion and also including a couple of applications and a basic exam question. The first law states that an object will continue at a constant velocity unless acted upon by an external force. So for an object that's in vertical equilibrium, the normal reaction force exactly balances the force due to gravity on the object. Another example is the motion of an object moving through space. Since there is no air resistance, the object is free to move at a constant velocity and never slow down once it has been set in motion. However, for an object moving through the air on Earth, the motion is different because of air resistance. Air resistance produces a force that is opposite to the direction of motion and hence the object will slow down. The second law states that the change of momentum on an object is proportional to the net force on that object. This law is usually described by the equation force equals mass times acceleration. We can use two different objects of masses m and 2m and see how their acceleration changes given the same force. As you can see, the mass which is twice as light accelerates twice as quickly under the same force. The third law states that every force has an equal and opposite reaction force. And this law can simply be shown by an object on a table where the reaction force is the table pushing back against the object. Or it can be shown by a person pushing against something or someone else and the something or someone else provides a reactionary force back. When something is falling at terminal velocity, it has no acceleration as there is no resultant force, and so it moves at a constant speed. This is an example of all the laws at once. This can be shown using a graph of speed against time, where eventually the speed will level out when there is no longer any resultant force acting on the object. Here is an example of a question. See if you can work out the answer using what you've just learned. Pause if you need to take some time to answer. OK, so here is the answer. If the force is 8 newtons and the acceleration is 4 meters per second per second, then force over acceleration will equal mass. And so 8 over 4 equals 2 kilograms. Thank you guys very much for watching this video.